The alchemy of wealth from air will bring a second blight upon mankind. This fog of death will cloak the land, and those men who are not prepared will succumb to its foul clutches. For God shows no mercy on those who heed not his words. Thus will the end come, and the world, made unworthy in his eyes, will be purified by black angels, so that he may begin anew.
Now might be a good time to try out your radar. Go on, pick up the cricket bat. Don't be squeamish. Think of it as an unspoken agreement between survivors. Because if you got infected, wouldn't you want someone to do the same for you? Good going. A nasty business, but it's got to be done. Now, check that bob. As I recall, there's a pistol and ammo you're definitely gonna need. Good work. You've got to keep this place clean if you want to survive. More than 20 hours awake, and your decision-making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. Head back to the main room and take another look at the monitors. They're hooked into CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. But the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. People think CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police HQ, but they're wrong. I was a Royal Signals boy in the army. I can teach you a thing or two about secure comms. Time for your first field trip. Those cameras won't fix themselves and you need to do a little shopping. Shutters up for you. <laughs> you need a key card to get out. There's bound to be one somewhere at that station. Use your pad's environmental scanner to search the area. Perimeter looks calm, for now.
That's the one. This safe house is my handiwork. A long time ago, I teamed up with a bunch of no-hopers called the Ravens of D. I helped them fortify places like this, because we knew this was coming. John D predicted the plague and the Great Fire of London that stopped it. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime, even tried to find a cure, the panacea. But it's a myth. You can see as well as anyone. There's no cure for this. Use your pad to scan that door and I'll hack it open for you. I'll get that for you. I've locked the place down for your safety. Okay, you're free to come and go now. Scan every CCTV junction box you locate so I can hack it and bring those cameras back online. You just walked past a working junction box, by the way. That's a camera hub, in case you've never noticed one before. Excellent. Your smart map's been updated. Without a good map, you're a goner out there. Throwing flares. Now they could come in handy. Bright lights to distract the dimwits.
a manhole nearby that's your quickest way back to the safe house. Have a gander. Sometimes retreat is your best option. the supermarket. Be careful. Use your radar. You have to ping areas manually if you want to know what's lurking in your blind spots. Rig to the alarm. Get inside before every blighter from miles around comes running. You're gonna need to rip the planks off some doors. 
While you're there, stock up. If it's not nailed down, loot it. When you find the box, link the pad up to bring the cameras back online. CCTV cameras are back online. Every time you scan one of those junction boxes, I'll hack it and update your smart map. Take a look at your pad. Good. Now, find your way back to that shortcut you passed earlier and get your ass back to the safe house in one piece. making enough noise to raise the dead. Get out of there!
sure you made it back. Now, you may have noticed a box in the main room with a raven symbol on it. Time to show you how it works. Shite. And not before time. There's a horde approaching. Check your radar. everything while you're outside, but a well-stocked cache will give you options before you set off. So drop whatever you want in it. I've had an idea. I think it's time we got eyes on Buckingham Palace and took a look around. You might even be able to sneak inside if they're distracted, keeping the infected out. Dear John, I'm sorry, but I just don't think we're going to agree on this point of interpretation. You seem dead set on a scorched earth reading of the BP. 
Whereas I, and Ron, and many of the others, see it more as a warning that we need to help people, not stand by and watch as it happens. I know you're angry with me and Ron for arguing with you at the last meeting, but I hope you can see that we're just advocating a better safe than sorry approach. It's like global warming. If we're wrong, well, at least we tried to make the world a better place and no harm done. But if we're right and we don't act quickly, we're putting the whole planet in danger. I wish you could see that. We're not trying to shut you out or shout you down like you suggested. I know you said those things in the heat of the moment, but even if you didn't mean them, they hurt. Your experience is invaluable to us. That's why I was asked to recruit you in the first place. But we're not children, and we do understand your point of view. We just disagree. The Council has asked me to suggest you take some time off from the meetings, because they don't feel you're being productive right now. I'm not going to do that because I still love you, and know how much being excluded from the Council would frustrate you. But I agree this fatalist agenda isn't productive. I'm about to leave for Clermont-Ferrand to see what I can dig up in their library about the Physici, as discussed at the last meeting. But I'll be back in time for bonfire night, so I'll call you and we can go up to Ali Pali for the display. It's been too long since we spent an evening together, and I'm sorry about that. Buckingham Palace. It's your best hope for better weapons and supplies, even if it is overrun by infected. so different if people had listened to John Dee. But by the time he saw what was coming, Elizabeth was dead, and James I had no love for prophecies or alchemy. And he was so obsessed with black magic, he wrote a manual called Demonology, and sent his witch hunters around England to hang witches and warlocks. Dee had to go into hiding. Bloody idiots.
thing about Buck Palace C is not just a building, it's a fortress. A highly secure location. You can bet your ass on stockpile guns and ammo like nobody's business. <laughs>
They flocked here thinking they'd be safe, that the royals would protect them. But the establishment looks after itself, no one else. God helps those who help themselves. Never forget that. <laughs> to me if that thing gives you indigestion or worse. around with those. Pull the pin, count to three, throw the bloody thing away. Look sharp, soldier. Infected incoming.
knows your way in. Be careful. Radio signal won't reach you down there. You're on your own. ancient lizard posing as a human anyway. But I tell you, she knows the score. It's the government didn't want anyone to know about Dee's prophecy, not her match. I hope they get her away to India or something. Their climber's better for reptiles anyway.
I'm losing you. Must be shielded. Watch your back. and speakers in the walls. I'm Peter Knight, junior doctor to the royal household. So don't worry, you're not going mad. <laughs> uh, well, um, do come and find me in the lab, won't you? Sorry, I know these corridors are a labyrinth, but well, that's the point. You see, to keep intruders out. I suppose I should warn you. There are also a few infected roaming around in here. Used to be a main group of soldiers, you see. Well, they're all infected now. Terrible shame. scientific work. I'll close the door behind you, just a precaution. Sorry, I can't greet you in person. It's safer for both of us, you understand. I'm researching a cure for this terrible infection. You see, it's slow going, as I have so few subjects to test on. Like those poor Omega Group soldiers. Not my finest hour, I fear. If you'll forgive me for a moment, I'm sure you can help me. I say, steady on, old girl. Here's how you could help. There's a book, De Remedi Secreti, by Conrad Gesner. A fascinating text, but what I'm after is Dee's own copy where he made annotations. I believe it's in the palace library, which means going upstairs, I'm afraid. Would you be so kind? The bunker elevator can take you up to the palace. Uh. 
I hope you don't mind the music, by the way. William Byrd, Elizabeth I's favorite composer, apparently. I find it helps me work, it's very soothing. You're doing ever so well. I do feel awful about the poor guards. Well, technically, I'm an Omega group myself. Started as an army medic, and then they posted me here. That's such a shame. Those soldiers were an elite. It's so sad to see them like this. The angel chided me thus. Ignorance was the nakedness whereby you first were tormented, and the first plague that fell upon man was the wanting of science. The want of science hinders you from knowledge of your own self. You see, but well, that hardly matters now. It's an elite group to protect the royal family. But, but the outbreak caught us on the hop, and now all these poor men have used to guard the bunker. Well, I suppose you could say they're still guarding it. If only we'd paid more attention to Dr. D.
Patients succumb immediately to infection in the region where the malady enters the body. Violent convulsions follow and their veins turn black as ink. Poisoned blood radiates from the wound, spreading like the roots of a venomous tree, accelerated by unnatural haste. It would be beautiful if not for its dark design.
The patient must be restrained and cannot be calmed by any manner of herbal sedative. She seems ravenous, and nothing I feed her can satiate her monstrous appetite, as if compelled by a most foul instinct to devour all life within her reach. She freed herself of her bonds yesterday and would have gutted our horse alive if I had not reached her in time. I find myself in awe of the piteous state to which man is reduced. A walking conduit, a mere empty coil, which lives only to feed its greedy and carnal instincts. Where was I? You must forgive me, I'm a little distracted. Ah yes, Dr. D. John D. was a scientist. Alchemist, natural philosopher and all that, to Elizabeth I. Some people say he was even a spy. Imagine that. And Dee wrote a warning, you see, about this outbreak. Oh, dear. Sorry, mustache. Patients succumb immediately to infection in the region. Hello? Oh, I 
fancy you found Gesner's book? I do hope it wasn't too much trouble. I pass it through, would you? Wait, there's something else. Um, that gadget of yours looks rather like something the Omega chaps used to carry. Would you step over there and scan that infected chap with it? A full scan and analyze, mind you, to isolate the infected gland. The human body really is a fascinating thing. Even after all vital signs in the subject cease, the body continues to fight the infection. Amazing, eh? I thought so. You'll have to put him out of his misery first. Then take the syringe and fill it up with antibodies from the infected gland. Side, a sort of poison, quite deadly. There's enough for one injection, but you can refill it from another willing volunteer. In return, I need another favor. A second book, Studium Contagione, a study of infection by D himself. It's very rare. But I happen to know Ron Friedman has a copy in his flat on Brick Lane. Ron's one of those raven chaps, you see. This is where it all started, and this is where it'll end, I promise you. Protect the safe house. Your survival depends on it.
Now where are you going? Are you scavenging for supplies or what? The pickings round here won't be very rich. These poor buggers have to fend for themselves. Abandoned by the government, the so-called public servants, who all hot-footed it to Westminster and the palace instead. That lot of good it did them, eh? You hear that? That's exactly why this country's gone to shite. People partying when they should have been prepping. Honestly, I'm surprised anyone else survived. Okay, maybe not everyone knows about these prophecies, but to be so blind when Armageddon is in your face, I despair. Thank you. 
You need to find some way into the room. Looks like you can jump down through a hole in the ceiling. Now we're talking. Double the barrels for double the gun. just realized where you are. That's Ron Friedman's place. All you'll find in there is a soft-headed imbecile who turned the ravens away from the truth. If you're going in, be careful. Ron Friedman is a lying sack of shite. Don't believe a word he says. He'll send you off on some wild goose chase. At the end of the day, who lives and who dies comes down to one thing. Preparation. Research your surroundings, scavenge for supplies, stock up your safe house, and do whatever it takes.
bronze flats on the next floor up. You have to find an air duct and crawl your way upstairs. <laughs> Presser here. Your signal's fading. I'm losing you.
This is Sandra to all surviving ravens. Next six, 18, 19, 22, and 34 have been raided by vultures. Situation still evolving. Ron, come in. It's Sandra. Ron, we're pulling out in less than 12 hours. Ronald Friedman, if you're ignoring me, I swear. Answer me, for God's sake, Ron! Dear John, I'll never forget everything you've given me. Dear John, I'll never forget everything you've given me. Our time together was the happiest of my life. But now those memories are tarnished, and I wanted to stop. We both know that you don't belong in the trauma unit, but the injustice of it all has changed you. You're not the man I fell in love with anymore. The man who risked and lost everything to try and prepare the world for the coming storm. That man seems to be dead. Looking back, your letters become more and more bitter over time, filled with cynicism and contempt. God knows I can't blame you after everything that's happened, but I don't want to know this new man. I don't think we have anything constructive to say to one another. If I do somehow survive the blight, if any of us do, it'll be thanks to you. I owe that to the man I loved. He'll remain a part of me forever. Forgive me. heating up in there. Find the kitchen and use the rubbish chute. It's your quickest way out. Thank you. 
Here, John. I'll never forget everything you did. Our time together was the happiest of my life. But now those memories are tarnished. And I wanted to stop. We both know that you don't belong in the trauma unit. But the injustice of it all has changed you. You're not the man I fell in love with anymore. The man who risked and lost everything to try and prepare the world for the coming storm. That man seems to be dead. Looking back, the letters. <laughs>
found the Studium Contagione. Oh, this will be invaluable. If only I had been quick enough to save them. I tried, I did. And I made progress. But what survives, well... I can't call it life. I'm almost glad my Omega Group colleagues never lived to see the day. I know you're green as grass, but try and remember to aim before you shoot.
There you are. What were you doing back in the palace? Look, never mind. I've had an idea. There are reports of a military camp at the palace. The guy in charge is Colonel Waverley, my old CO in Desert Storm. So tell him the prepper sent you. He'll see you right. You could do with some better weapons, and a bit of C4 wouldn't go amiss. Is the Ravens of D calling all survivors. Evacuation will commence when the tower bells ring. I repeat, green light for Tower of London evac. Sandra Bloody Kelly. Thought she was dead. But pay her no mind. The Ravens couldn't plan an orgy in a brothel. In fact, my ass, more likely they'll shoot you and rip your bob from your dead hands. Shit. 
might as well grab some guns. Bloody shame. Waverley was one of the good ones, you know. He had my back all the way through Kuwait and beyond. An honourable man. should have a gander in Green Park near Buck Palace. There's nothing left of the military installations. The army's sure to have left behind gear. You can't afford to overlook. should have a gander in Green Park near Buck Palace. There's nothing left of the military installations, but the army's sure to have left behind. the last survivor who came through here. You've got to be more careful. Don't forget to grab that bob. It'll be a crying shame to let those supplies go to waste.
nice. Now grab whatever you can carry and stash it back in the safe house. Sorry for hacking your comms like this, but the Ravens of D are planning an evacuation from the Tower of London, and we need all the fighters we can get. Help us, and we'll get you out. Now that you can definitely use, especially in this bloody place. Nice and quiet. Move! You're a sitting duck! So you're running away with the birds. Well, let me tell you about the Ravens of D. D's prophecy is clear, but those bloody cowards want to cherry pick it. They admit D was right about the blight coming, but think he was wrong about who would survive. There is no saving the world. No evacuation, no cure, no respite. Only the prepared will survive. Isn't that what I've been teaching you? you're not listening. Fine. But if you go through with this, I won't help you. This is Sandra from the Ravens of D. It's good to see you. But you'll need to clear a path to the tower. We lost our sniper on the perimeter. Like so many of our soldiers since it began. That's a 770, that. I used to shoot naps up the arse with one of those.
Time to break out from C4. Cool birds. Did you know Charles II clipped the Tower Raven's wings after the Great Plague? It's the closest he came to admitting he believes the Black Prophecy. Well, that and forming our little organization, just in case. This is the last great plague. The ravens are restless. The signs are here and the blight is upon us. Just like the Magus D foretold. But never mind that for now. Ah! 
We lost so much knowledge when Dee's library at Mortlake was pillaged. We've collected what remains, but none of us has Dee's minds to make sense of it all. It will work like a black light now. Look for the signs. That's Dee's Sceptogram. It symbolizes the unity of the four elements with alchemy, magic, and science. To us, it opens the path to secret knowledge. Nice work. Don't bother with your map. Officially, this place doesn't even exist. Just use the black light to find your way through. They'll lead you to our bunker. Welcome to the Ravens of Dean. Okay, break out the black lights again. See if you can crack this one. Mind you, we tried to warn people. Our best prepper risked his life trying to get to the Queen, but they wouldn't let us. They locked my John up, and he was never the same.
That's the Enochian alphabet. Symbols that Dee used to communicate with angels. The Ravens translated them years ago. Now you can reveal and understand them too. See, John Dee basically invented cryptography. He was the first professional spy, did you know that? Even signed his letter to Queen Elizabeth 007. Now try the keypad. That's the seven bells. Time to move. Head for the roof. This is Raven Wing 1. No safe landing. I repeat, we cannot land. We'll try and pick you up on the roof. Stand by. Take the stairs. Hurry! generator needs stopping up. Time to get some petrol. I heard the chatter on the radio. Sounded like a bad one. And now the ravens have fled, just like Dee foretold. Look, I know you won't believe this, but I hate to say I told you so. I understand. You want to get out, to run away and never look back. But it's not that simple. Look on the bright side. You're still here, a survivor, and I'm not going anywhere, no matter how bad it gets. But make no mistake, it will get worse. Dee said the blight will only end when... Oh 
shite. You need to refuel that generator. Are you prepared? Vikram runs the Shoreditch petrol station at the top of Brick Lane. Him and his family live in the flat above. You can't miss it. That generator needs stopping up. Time to get some petrol.
You should see a park coming up ahead. The petrol station's just past there. Mind your step. Someone's laid down traps for the infected, which is smart, but they'll get you just as easily. Be careful.
trees. Come in, come in. You're safe here. Do you bring news? You've been gone so long. No. No. Don't cry. It's not your fault, son. Huh? Who are you? Where's my son? Dad? Can you come up, please? I'm coming, child. I'm coming. Now, be a good boy. Help your mother. Be quick. She needs those antibiotics. Uh, don't forget your key. You have nothing to fear.
That nursery doesn't look like an ominous death trap at all, does it? It's jammed. Not my problem. What you want with that door anyway? Weren't you on your way to die? Be careful in there. I saw them get overrun on the CCTV. The staff running inside with the kids. I didn't see anyone leave. Remember, it's the medicine you're here for. Nothing else. Get it and get out.
an eye out for the first aid boxes. That's where they'll keep the medicine. <laughs> I'm losing you.
definitely not the storm. Take a closer look for me. UMP-45, if I'm not mistaken. That'll keep just about anything off your back. Oh. 
Door's locked. Damn it. I'll try and open it from here. Give me a minute. Look sharp, soldier. Infected incoming. I'm working as fast as I can. You're the one who said yes to pick up dry idea, remember? <laughs> Hold on, I'm almost done. Don't give up on me now. Right, the door's open. Move.
That generator needs stopping up. Time to get some petrol.
work. The only thing better than a shotgun is a pump-action shotgun. They'll probably try to blame this on the immigrants, you know. But don't fall for it. Look around. The blight doesn't discriminate. Immigration was always a distraction. To let the idiots in charge destroy the country without ordinary folk noticing. I don't know why I bother. All right then, if she's telling the truth about those supplies, then let's at least try to keep you alive so you can bring some back. In the meantime, travel light. If it is a trap, you could lose everything.
<laughs> nice day to die, Nin. Ah! Nighty nice, sucker. Throw the rotter in the cage, Tim. The show must go on.
Stay that way. There's a shitload of gear past that door, but your exit is back where you came from. Don't you dare go and die on me now. That's an SA-80. Must have come from an army regular, the poor bugger.
The ladder you've climbed to get here. That's your exit. You disappoint me. I thought we were partners. Prepper, out. If you can't run, you might as well lie down and die. Always keep something in reserve.
Dear John, I'm sorry, but I just don't think we're going to... As the revelation shows, when death overcomes life, so shall man walk eternally in purgatory. And those who long for the bosom of God shall not find it, as death itself flees from them to smother the world in grey damnation.
Every round you fire is like ringing the fucking dinner bell. Come and get it. Not that you can always avoid it, just be prepared.
you can stash your weapons, ammo and supplies in there. You can't carry everything while you're outside, but a well-stocked cache will give you options before you set off. So drop whatever you want in it. Caretakers used to role play here, dress up in medieval costumes. Come to think of it, you're lucky there aren't any blighters decked out in chainmail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
once upon a time you had to be a royal or a king's ex-wife to have the privilege of dying in this tower. I suppose you could call that progress. Poor beef eaters held the tower for a long time. And most of their families were here with them too.
Lighter, faster, cleaner than your average shotgun.
keep an eye on corpses. Nothing is really dead until you've blown its head off, understand? Trusty MP5, the best gun in the world for close crowd control, if you get my trip. Uh. 
There you are. Christ, you have me worried being gone for so long. What the hell were you doing in there? Oh, oh, thank goodness. I have good news. The panacea is almost finished. <coughs> the bad news is, it's a vaccine, not a cure. You must come quickly. <coughs> Meet me at the entrance to the Royal Quarters. I have security clearance. <laughs> the palace. A doctor. That's what you've been going back for. Working with a bloody laptop behind my back. How, how dare you? After all, I've warned you about trusting scientists. They started this mess, mucking about with viruses, playing God. One big experiment in the petri dish of life. And what did that quack sell you? A couple of aspirin? There is no cure, no panacea. Do you really think some lab coat could create a cure? And meanwhile, the safe house is vulnerable! You disappoint me. I thought we were partners. Prepper, out.
again. Feels like somebody's trying to kill off everyone I'm helping. Well, it's your life. Prepper, out.
This is the Ravens of D calling all survivors. London is now officially a no rescue zone, and firebombing will commence shortly. We've got time for one final chopper evac. Stock up your bombs and haul off to the Tower of London. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Hello? This is Sundra from the Ravens of D. We just caught a transmission from Buckingham Palace. Is it true you have the panacea? That's incredible. Please come to the tower as quick as you can. The whole world needs it. how it is. You're all bloody plotting and conspiring behind my back. The Doctor, the Ravens. You know what? Fine. Try to save yourself. Die in the fire for all I care. You're no survivor like me. None of you are. You're nothing to me. Go on. Go. Get out. You people are no better than the plague. I gave you shelter. Weapons, equipment. I taught you how to survive. You'd be dead without me. And this is how you repay me. You needed me. Oh, you're all grown up now. Strutting off on wild goose chases all by yourself. Sticking your neck out. But just remember where I found you. I should have let the safe house burn, just like the whole of London will. Just like John Dee foretold. Hello? This is Sandra from the Ravens of Dee. I don't know if you're the same survivor I met at the Tower of London, but this is the same frequency and I promised I'd be back. Whoever you are, please get to the Tower as fast as you can. We're evacuating ASAP. It's no wonder that country's gone to the dogs, is it? Well, don't you worry, because I'll have the last laugh. I will outlive you all. I've not been my partners. I trusted you, gave you skills and knowledge. I said, fucking kill you myself. Get the hell out of my house.
This is the prepper. Do you read me? Over. God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save the Queen, send her victorious, happy and glorious, long
We've got to get out of London now. I made a promise to a survivor that I'd be back. I don't know if that's you, but you're on the same frequency, so hurry to the tower. We'll wait as long as we can. Now run! Get moving, there's no time to waste. We're on our way. We have you on vision. 
visual. Now move! Leave Sandra on the roof. Go right the way. Don't stop and don't look back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 